let's power through these enemies first. Done. Man, it's like a race between Orin and uh, Titus to get to zombie attack first. But it looks like Titus may be the first one to get it. Because there's still, let's see, three, four, so one level to get back here, and then another to go up one. Ah, I knew there was a treasure chest on one of these. Friend Sphere! It's a damn bush! Fireproof, bitch! Now, being that these enemies are inflicted with the status ailment zombie, no, you can't use holy water to take zombie away. Actually, no, I'm not sure. Let's find out. Not like I don't have a ready supply of them anymore. Okay, yeah, you can't use holy water to take the zombie status away on these enemies. So... But since they do have the zombie status, if you use a cure spell on them, you'll, uh, damage them. There is a benefit to the zombie status, however, viewers. Zombie status gives a guaranteed immunity to instant death. Yep, Titus wins. Is Orin still one level away? Orin, Oran, whatever. I know there's a... okay, there it is. I knew there was a way down here. Where there is a level 3 key sphere kind of hidden. And another goddamn Defender Z, really? That's why you use Armor Break. Yeah, use your Haymaker. Use words! Just take care of that. So Orin can end him. That fucking hurt. Uh. Hey, Broska. You don't have to do this. Thank you for your concern. Fine. I said my piece. Well, I haven't. Lord Braska, let us go back. I don't want to see you die. You knew this was to happen, my friend. Yes, but I... I cannot accept it. <laughs> Oren, I am honored that you care for me so. But I have come to kill grief itself. I will defeat sin and lift the veil of sorrow covering Spira. Please understand, Oren. And this is why I think it's personally pointless. Yes, if you just leave Sin unchecked, he'll just roll around and kill everybody. But why sacrifice your life and 
indeed the lives of several other people as well, because each time a summoner becomes a high summoner and uses the final Aeon, there are two people sacrificing themselves. Why sacrifice two people each time just to bring a couple years of peace to the world? I personally feel it's a bit pointless. I mean, hell, I'm sure some people don't even get peace out of the summoners defeating Sin. Because they know Sin's just gonna come back. I mean, I know I wouldn't get any peace, uh, get any peace out of Sin being defeated. By the way, those X Defenders or Defender Zs or whatever they're called, those guys have a chance of also dropping level three orbs, or yeah, level three unlockers, key spheres. That's what they're called. Onwards. What is that? Regen, okay. And so we've made it to the end. Pick this up first. I said pick this up first. Lux Sphere. Lucky. Wink. Are the trials ahead? Probably. Here too, huh? Give me a break. I was expecting, you know, parades and fireworks. You can ask for them after I defeat Sin. And you don't have to worry about trying to find an Albed Primer in here. The only Albed Primer we've got left is hidden away in, um... The only Albed Primer we've got left to find is hidden away in a secret area. So, we've found the final chamber, or er, cloister of trials. We need to find those shapes. By looking at the floor, we can kind of see patterns on the ground. Got one. That's a straight one. That one's obvious. Now for the fun ones. Let's see. The L block. And... There we go. Easy enough. So now we've got choices. A lot of choices. Let's go on and just do this one first. By pushing these pedestals in, the room next to here will then light up certain areas and show us which ones we need to find. If we come up to it, it will flat out light up every one of them that you need to open. If you forget which ones you need to touch, you could just go back to it. It won't reset the uh, things. And this one. Okay, which ones am I missing now? Two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So. One. 
to... Stepped on the wrong one. Must have missed saw. So yeah, you gotta do this a bunch of times. Oops, that's the wrong one. Damn it. Oh well. That's obviously the wrong one as well. I just felt like stepping on it. <laughs> okay, so let's do this correctly. All in all, if you've got a decent enough memory, this section shouldn't be too hard. And there we go. That's one down. So now we gotta come right back into here and pick another one. These two or this one, the one that I was at first, needs a, a sphere in order to move. We gotta save that one for last. Okay. I already know that one right off. This one right off. This one right off. This one definitely. Or not. Nope. Yep, wrong one. It's the one on the bottom that I needed. And avoid that so I can step on that. Sweet. Now I just need this one and the upside down T block which is this or the upside down L block which is this one awesome so we've unlocked two of the glyphs obviously we're gonna need to unlock all of them so we still got another three wait two that we need to do Okay, L block, upside down L block. Um, okay, gonna need this one. This one. This one. This one. Definitely this one. And now I'm just missing the upside down squiggly, which is this one. Easy enough. You don't have to do these in order. Though I like to do them in order anyways. And so the last one that we've got to do for now we'll have to come back here because like all the other like with all of the other chamber of uh, the other cloister of trials there is a destruction sphere to be had in this place okay I'm gonna need this one um Gonna need this one. Nope, wrong one. It was the one up here that I needed. Oh well. <laughs> 